though nomenclature began in 1758, Eurypultidae were not among the world's first named snakes. In 1801, with the publication of the environmental journal Historie Amphibiorum Naturalis et Literary by the German ecologist Johann Gottlob Schneider, information about these snakes became known to the world. But they were not classified as Eurypultidae. Typhlops oxyrhynchus was first scientifically classified and later classified as Rhinophis. Outwardly it resembles a quiver's tail. Both species have similar looking tails. But the tip is longer and has a sharper pointed tip. The corals of the body are smooth and rhombus shaped. This species of snake is easily recognizable by its pointed head and tail-like tail, and extends up to 250 meters above sea level in the lowland dry zone often found in brown. Some animals have small cream-colored markers laterally near the tail. The edges of each body coral are white. The tail shield is arranged in a spherical shape. This section extends from the tip of the apex to the center of the apex like a small pishol. The tip, which evolved into a soil-friendly movement, helps dig the head through the loose soil. The eyes are not located like other snakes as they live in the soil for most of their lives. It is covered with a permeable membrane-like coral, without a clear neck. Moths eat mainly. You can see the earth coming to the surface with the rain. Found in home gardens, agricultural lands and forests as well as grasslands, is a nocturnal species. These oviduct larvae give birth to two to five young at a time. Adult animal is about 50 minus 55 centimeters. Gully hides his head when disturbed. Never try to bite. Although not frequently encountered by humans, activities such as soil clearing and agricultural land preparation can be considered as a threat to the survival of these animals. It is currently listed in the red data as the last concern. Special facts about spikes. One being one of the two tallest species currently recorded in Sri Lanka, the other species is the great Bing Ulla, Rhinophis afragamus, and their length is approximately the same as the specimens found so far. Mr. P. Diraniagala mentioned a specimen with a length of 57 centimeters in 1955. Two, the first scientifically described snake of the genus Europaltidae 1801. 3. Shows a classification of all other Rhinophis species according to their evolutionary band. Sister Clade. 4. Indicative species of Rhinophis endemic to South India and Sri Lanka. Type species, 